This is a short presentation on the Acuity AR3000 laser sensor. That laser is made by Schmidt Industries and one of the divisions is the SMS division or the Schmidt Measurement System division. And we are out of Portland, Oregon and we're on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. We've been public since 1987 and we, were, we do approximately 18 million in sales and we have 43 employees worldwide. This is the AccuRange 3000. It's one of our longest uh, distance range finders. And as you can see up here, this is where the transmitter, this is where the laser beam comes out. And this is the collector, or this is where we collect that, that return reflection from that laser beam. Just some quick facts on this. It, we have two different uh, models of serial RS-232 or RS-422 digital outputs. So this can be plugged right into a computer. Uh, on natural targets, we can measure to 300 meters, or roughly almost almost a thousand feet on natural targets. If we used a, a reflector, we could go out to 3,000 meters, which is you know is a little bit over a couple miles long. Uh, if if we measure at 100 measurements per second, our accuracy is plus or plus or minus 20 millimeters, which is right at about oh, three quarters of an inch of accuracy. And at the full bandwidth of 2,000 measurements a second, we're a little, a little over plus or minus two inches a second. We have a resolution of one millimeter or 40 thousandths. It does have a class one invisible infrared laser, and that is completely eye safe. So there's no, you don't have to worry about any damage or any harm using a laser beam. We also have a class two visible pilot laser but I don't believe that in your application you will be using that other than for the initial setup. Once you've used the class, the pilot light, that you can then turn it off and just have the measuring laser, which is invisible. So it, sh it shouldn't be any problem with uh, causing anyone to be distracted as they're driving around the parking lot getting hit with a, a laser beam. It's also a very compact design. So this, this laser is what we call a time of flight sensor. And it measures distance, distance by rapidly modulating and collimating a laser beam. And this creates a spot on the target surface. And this laser spot is reflected and collected by a lens and focused on a photodiode within the sensor unit. And this uh, reflected light returns with a shift in its phase compared with the reference signal. And this is from the amount of phase shift we can calculate what that distance is very accurately. And th then that distance number is transmitted through serial or an analog output. And then, that, then the sensor will monitor that distance. So it can actually be used for distance. And we've used it before for velocity measurements. So in other words, this, this laser is measuring the speed of light. And based upon how long it takes for that light to reflect back, we can time it and calculate the distance to the target. So in, in other words, it's very simple. We're sending a laser beam out. We're catching it as it comes back. And we calculate how long it takes for that, that laser to bounce back off it. And that's our displacement or the distance to the target. Just a quick anatomy of an AR3000 here. You can see our, our, our mechanical drawing. You can see that it's, it is very small compact. Here's the transmitter here's the receiver it has built-in heater so we can operate into uh, different temperatures uh, very extreme environmental conditions and so this and just sort of in some in summary the AR3000 or the park ranger is a a long-range distance measurement safe sensor it's ice safe super long range and measure up to 2,000 samples per second with or without a reflector. And it's very good for process monitoring, uh, profiling, position measurement of vehicles and all lighting condition and on difficult targets. So night or day, we shouldn't have any problems with this measurement. And then just as a quick example, let's take a look at one of the applications that we're doing. And I don't know if you recognize this, but this is the Morpheus Lander in Houston. And uh, you see on that little, that little outboard out there, there's an AR3000, and we're using it for a laser, altim a laser altimeter 
and this is one of the more interesting applications that we're using and here you can see the Morpheus lander up here using it to measure the distance from the to the ground and now it's going to come down and, and land so just sort of an interesting application right there's the AR 3000 laser on that uh, and as you can see some of the high-tech applications that we're that we're working on also um, we, we do have spec sheets available if you'd like some more information if any customers want to know exactly the weight the laser the power operating temperatures environmental shock and vibration outputs we have a complete little spec sheet that we can provide you for this sort of information